There are no cars, so the pitter-patter of shoes and the clicking of donkeys' hooves are the sound of traffic on Lamu, a ten-mile-long island located off the northern coast of Kenya. On this island, almost everyone is Muslim. Evidence lies in the mosque decorating street corners and the women dressed in headscarves and buoy buoys. By Western standards, these women may look covered, but in many Muslim communities, women are forbidden from even leaving their home, and that's how it used to be in Lamu. But Zahara, who has lived in Lamu her whole life and now serves as a local council member, explains that in recent years, things have changed. If I'm at home with my parents, and I want to, to see my sister, who is married maybe in another family, so my brother will come and take me there. I'm not, uh, I cannot go alone. Mm. But that one has changed. And women aren't just walking alone in the streets. Yes. They're also using cell phones, working and taking on leadership roles. Zahara's sister works at the local police station, and I met a number of women who are involved in education and spreading AIDS awareness. Lamu's Muslim community explains that although women used to stay indoors, they have never been extremist, and for the most part they did not agree with the ideals of the Muslim terrorists who briefly lived in Lamu right before he bombed the U.S. Embassy in Nairobi in 1998. Today, Lamuians take pride in the fact that they are allowing modernity and religion to coexist. A well-respected imam who would rather his name not be revealed on camera explains that Lamuians are using their religion to take strides for the better. Islam is not to kill. If you save somebody who is to be killed on wrong ground, eh, one who is not supposed to be killed is as if you have killed the entire world. So still without cars, the pace of life in Lamu may be slower than other parts of Kenya, but with cell phones and working women, changes are being introduced to the island. But that doesn't mean that Islam is either diminishing or becoming more extreme. Kylie Atwood, Lamu, Kenya.